okay everybody welcome back to the channel thank you guys for being here thank you guys for clicking on this video and for if this is your first time here at the operation zone i ask you guys to go ahead and you know just take a second to hit the click the subscribe button and hopefully this is a video that can help you guys um i know you see the title already so you know exactly what this video is gonna be about um from for people um for my subscribers I know it's been a while since I posted a video. I've actually um, recorded a video prior to this one on how to um, replace this thing right here. Actually, my entire e-brake broke off. The covering right here broke off, and then I had to get a whole replacement for it, a whole replacement kit. And I actually did a video, recorded it, and for some reason, I don't know what I did, I messed up and when it was time for me to edit the video and put it out the video disappeared so yeah anyway I put that thing together and it, it took me a while to put it not a while but it you know it wasn't that easy 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 so I didn't want to undo it and then redo it because it's it's like cheap Chinese plastic and I didn't want to take it off and read redo it just to just for the purpose of actually re re-recording the video so i just let it go so anyway today's video um is basically gonna be about if you have if you are having battery issues or alternator issue and today we're gonna try to figure out whether or not we're having battery issues or alternator issues I hope to God that I'm only having battery issues because I don't want to deal with having to replace the alternator. All right. So this this is this this is the, the symptoms that I've been having. I I leave the car. I drive the car during the day, park it, and come back in the morning after like what 12, 13 hours. I try to turn it. I try to start it. And it's just like barely turning over. You can tell that if it doesn't start on the first turnover, that I won't have another chance. The engine won't turn over again. The battery just doesn't have enough strength to turn over again. And then I was like, all right, maybe I've had issues with it where it's like, uh, what do you call it again? Uh, I can't remember the term of it now. But it's basically a draw. Um, what, what kind of draw do you call it again? Um, I can't remember the term. It's, it's a situation where you so when you turn off your car close it down take out your key lock it up um the battery there's a certain percentage of the battery that has been used to maintain stuff like your lock your alarm your clock your you know roof light and, uh, and stuff like that, that that it was a situation where my the, the car was there was my ac clutch was the issue when i when i actually um did my investigation and did some testing and see that it had a, had a, had a draw that it was drawing way too much current than it, than it was supposed to be drawing when the car was shut down but anyway I got that resolved and it was the same symptoms I would start the car drive it and leave it and come back in the morning a few hours and it would be hell to start the car this time however the difference though is um, when I had the, 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 the draw, right, when, when, I, when it was the, the, the time when it was the AC clutch, the only difference with then and now is then the battery would charge up fully. Like if, I, if the battery is dead and I start it somehow and then I drive it, if I drive it for an hour or so and then I come back in the garage, switch the car off, start it again, it would start up perfectly strong. And all of that so you can tell that the alternator was charging and the battery was getting charged but for some reason it would just drain you know what i mean so this time however no matter how much i drive the car i just drove the car literally for like two hours and i came home shut it off and then instantly try to start it again and nothing it's the same symptoms just and then it you know it get like one crank you can tell that it's not gonna crank again 
so i'm assuming it's the alternator which i hope to god it's not or sometimes it can be it's either the alternator the battery or corrosion on the battery so we so just just so you guys can have an idea of what i'm talking about so you can you know come um compare it to your symptom if you are having symptoms so this is what it sounds like when i'm i just came in um like 30 minutes ago and i'm gonna try to start it now so you can you can hear what it's like so you see it, it, it turns over but you can tell that it didn't really want to turn over okay so I'm, I'm just gonna shut it back off i'm gonna pop the hood and then i'm gonna see what's going on under there all right, I'm gonna, I got my voltage meter. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my volt meter and see if it's an issue with the battery. If the battery is drained, it's just not, it just doesn't have enough voltage. The battery, it should have at least 12.456, you know, it's gonna bounce somewhere up there, uh, uh, up there, um, volts on the meter. That's the reading it should get up, up above 12, you know. It depends on what kind of vehicle you got and how much um, things that you got running while the, while the, while the, while the car is shut off. Maybe you might go down to eleven point something, but nine nine whatever whatever. But it shouldn't be no lower than that. So I'm gonna go pop the hood and stick my stick the poles on it, the terminals on it, and the terminals. I mean the the, the battery, the, my tester on the. The terminals and see what the deal is all right all right guys, so i'm here in the hood and just as soon as i opened the hood i could tell what the obvious problem was gonna be well i was hoping that's that that's what it was um upon opening the hood i could look at the positive terminal right here which is the one that is normally red it's a plus on the battery um, the positive terminal I could tell that it's it's really corroded it has all sorts of nasty corrosion I actually this is after I actually brushed off a little before I turn on the camera but yeah I, I, I just realized that this can be a, a part of the problem so I want to do the I want to actually do the testing of reading the, I want to read the voltage how much charges on the battery and and then we see what the deal is so I'm, I'm sticking my my negative probe on the negative side of the battery and the positive on the positive side and we're gonna see what reading we get we should get somewhere up 12 voltage and up and that will tell us that the battery is good it's not an issue with the battery which unfortunately might be an issue with the alternator so all right let's see kind of hard for me to not work I don't have someone right now so I'm, I'm trying to hold my phone in my hand and do this at the same time all right let me try again and I can't get any reading because hold on okay let me try to hold it okay guys I, I, it's kind of hard for me though I'm definitely getting good reading on the battery. Let me put this closer so you guys can see because it's hard for me to hold it and video at the same time. Bear with me guys. I don't have my tripod right now. I wasn't planning for the video. I just figured, you know what? Let me test this thing and see if I can figure out what it is. I said, and then I said, you know what? Let me make a video so I can help somebody out if they're going through the same thing. So, all right. And I'm going to touch a probe on the terminals of the battery to make sure I get a reading from the battery to see if the battery is reading 12 and up oh, so see the battery is perfectly fine the battery has enough voltage the battery definitely has more than 12 volts of it's reading more than 12 voltage so that right there is telling me that it has to be something other than the battery I mean, actually, I take that back. It doesn't have to be something other than the battery because sometimes the battery might have enough volt, might have enough, enough voltage, but it doesn't have enough cranking power, cranking voltage, or cranking amps, I think they call it. 
so my next step is going to be to disconnect the terminal clean up the terminals and see if it's an issue of the corrosion just blocking the, the, the flow of the voltage and I, I got a I got a good feeling that that's what it might be though because the battery is 12 volts that means it should be charging um, once I get the terminal off and clean it up and I'll, I'll do it I throw my um, tester back on the the, 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 the the cables themselves the terminals themselves just to and then start the car and just to make sure that I'm getting enough voltage from the alternator over there just the alternator right here guys um so i want to make sure that it's not the alternator i'm gonna do that and then i'm also, but i'm gonna um clean up the terminals and hopefully that should do the trick all right I'll see you on the next scene okay guys so i just went to go look to grab my toolbox and realize i do not have my toolbox at this moment so this is the best <laughs> that I have that I could find. Um, hopefully this is enough for me to, you know, yeah, take this, remove the terminal and clean it up. Um, I'm gonna put the camera down and just try to take it off. Give me a second, bear with me guys. So I actually want to take out both sides of this thing. This is really bad, guys. You can look at it. Look at the dust. Look at all the, 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 the corrosion. This will definitely block the flow of um, voltage. So I'm just gonna clean this up. I have a little piece of sandpaper. Normally you need a little wire brush to clean it up, but I don't have a wire brush right now because, as I said, I can't access my tools. So I'm just gonna clean it up with a whole toothbrush or something and get some lubrication on it and all of that but give me a second let me clean this up and then we go test it to see if the alternator is actually charging and then we go test it to see if we get a better crank out of it out of the battery itself all right a second i got the terminal loose i got it off um trying to clean this thing up some what so I can get a bit of contact. I'm using just a little piece of sandpaper that I found. I'm just gonna clean the terminal up. I'm just trying to figure this so you guys can don't understand enough how you should do it. Then we we'll go get one in the terminals itself. That's it guys, I'm using my one hand to do this so just bear with me. So just you know kind of just roll the sand up sandpaper up like that and try to clean it out as best as possible all right guys so this is what it looks like um once i get it somewhat clean it's not perfect as, as much, it's not as good as i would want it to be but you know hopefully it's enough it's not as perfect as I would want it to be, but I'm just gonna have to leave with that for now because I don't have the, I don't have my tool kit, so I can't uh, get in there like I want. There's still some stuff down there. I'm gonna try to clean this up some more, guys. Give me a second. All right. Okay. There we go again, guys. So I got it somewhat decent. It's not perfect. It's not great. Not as good as I would want to clean it up as, as it would be if I use the, the right stuff which would be a, like a little wire brush that I have but I can't access that right now so it is what it is hopefully this isn't enough to make a difference so guys normally when you buy a battery you get a you can buy a little um, pack of, of oil like not, not, not oil but um, grease for you to you know oil the terminal this, is, this will help to prevent corrosion. So right now I don't have that right now, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of engine oil that I have left over. Let's go put some engine oil in there. Just to see if we can, you know, prevent it or delay the whole corrosion process again. Um, so 
So yeah, that's it. We're gonna tighten this up. Um, I wanted to test the alternator itself, but what I'm gonna do is just um, I'm gonna test it. I'm, I'm gonna turn over the engine. I'm gonna start the car and see if I get a strong start. And if I get a strong start, then that's I, I don't even need to test the alternator. Um, that will be um, enough evidence that will be proved that it wasn't an alternator and it was just a corroded battery. It wasn't the battery itself, it was just a corroded battery terminal. Um, this needs to be cleaned up too. The, 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 the negative terminal needs to be cleaned up. But it's kind of hard to use the little vice grip that I have to get this not to, to loosen the terminal for the negative side so hopefully the positive side being cleaned up is enough for it to make a difference all right guys so i'm gonna go inside i'm gonna tighten this back and then i'm gonna go inside and see what the deal is in a second let me tighten this back up all right guys so now I'm gonna go back and start the car now and see if it makes a difference. That definitely sounded a little stronger, but I don't know how how much stronger it sounded. I'm gonna let it I'm gonna rev it up and let the alternator. As a matter of fact, guys, while it's idling, let me go throw the tester on it and see how much voltage we're getting from the alternator. It's alright guys, this is me touching the, the cables. So this is the reading that I'm getting from the alternator guys. 14.425 and that is perfect. That is exactly where it should be charging at. If I come to the battery now I should be getting there you go. So the battery. Well, it, that, that doesn't really tell me anything about the battery right now because the alternator is sending voltage to the battery also. So that doesn't really tell me anything about the battery. For me to read, get an accurate reading on the battery, I would have to shut it off, shut off the car, and then put the terminals on, the, put the leads on the battery itself. But for now, this is telling me that I'm getting 14 point something voltage coming from the alternator to the battery. So. The alternator is perfectly fine. So it's either the battery doesn't have enough cranking voltage, cranking amps, I should say. It's not, it doesn't have enough cranking amps. But I'm just gonna let this charge up for a second. And I'll get the battery and then see how much difference it the clean up the corrosion made. Um I might need a also do the negative terminal because that might also be a problem uh, but the positive one I don't know it seems like it's a little bit let me switch it off and start it again instantly and see it should start really strong so the that that was definitely stronger than it was starting before so I don't know maybe if I drive this thing and get the alternator really going then it should be perfect. Let me try shutting it off for a few seconds and start it up again. Let's try it. It's still, it's still, you know, kind of sluggish. You can tell, but it's a little better than it was before. So let me. What I really want to do is drive this thing and get it charged up the right way. And I don't know, it might be the battery, guys. This battery is like three going to four years old, and that's normally when, but you know, that's normally, normally the lifespan of a car battery. So, if it's the battery, it wouldn't be unusual. It's definitely starting stronger, I can tell you that. Definitely starting stronger. So, I might need to, um, I might need to, um, um get my. When I get my tools, just take a day to undo the nut on the negative side of the terminal and just clean that up, get some grease on it, 
the right grace not <laughs> you know <laughs> and guys you engine oil is just temporary you should get the real stuff the right the right grease all right um uh, for now it seems like it's 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 a lot better let me shut it off for a few seconds and see how strong it starts that is definitely definitely better guys you can tell you can hear that yourself so i don't know i think i think i think the, the corrosion was the culprit well guys that's it for today i'm just gonna end this video right here um if when i clean the terminal the left terminal it doesn't um improve then I know for sure it's a battery and I just need to go get a new battery. I just need to swap it out. It's time to get a new battery anyway. Right now I'm 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 getting bonus right now out of this battery, to be honest. I've had this battery for over three going four years. That should be what you get out of a battery. Um so I'm gonna end this video right here. Um for my subscribers, for people who knows about all the sewing stuff that we do and the, the sewing machine stuff, don't worry. I have a few videos that I'm I'm gonna you know in the in the pipelines for you guys showing you guys how to do um cargo pockets and how to you know install zips zippers and all of that so bear with me guys I, i've just been busy i'm coming off of my busy season with, with with my other stuff and everybody who's familiar with this channel should know that i i i um we sell cargo pants over here we sell cargo work pants i'm working on the getting a bag line out so guys look out for the backpack and for now those who are looking for cargo wear pants please go over to the website at www.omardesigns.com no sorry www.omardesignsapparel.com omardesignsapparel.com all right guys thank you again as i said thank you for tuning in hopefully this video was helpful to you guys and i'll see you guys in the next operation peace love out